Hi everyone, I'm back again with more updated information. As you are preparing to apply for the DV 2022, there are some of the important things you needed to know so that you can be a very good candidate to win the DV 2022. Because there are some people, majority of people, who are going to be eliminated before even the lottery has started. Because when you apply for the DV lottery, what happens is they are going to screen and they are going to take the qualified applicants to put into the random selection pool. So there are some people are going to be eliminated or disqualified even before the lottery has started, which I call the technical knockout with a big punch. So if that's the case, how can we avoid those? Is these are the ways I'm going to help you to avoid it by breaking down some of the things. And I'm going to talk about people wearing hijab, people wearing uniforms into the photographs which are supposed to use or to be used into the application. So the question is, are you allowed to wear uniforms? Are you allowed to wear hijab, for instance? Like, I'm giving example, there are some people not in a cell to be hijab, they can wear some of the uh, maybe special kind, depending of, I will explain. But are you allowed to wear something in your head? Welcome everyone, this is Ernest Bulfas Makulilo, EBM, and I welcome you to the EBM Scholars Show. First business of the day is for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, then followed by you going to my Twitter account, follow me on the Twitter or go to my uh, uh, to my Facebook and follow me there. Go and share these videos to many people, as many people as possible. So let's go to the main part of this video which says, one, are you allowed to wear a uniform? By uniform, uh, I mean, let's say you are working as a police officer. Are you allowed to wear a uniform of police officer and take this one? You are immigration officer in your country. You are working in the military. Are you allowed to wear those kind of uniform? You are a nurse. You are wearing a nurse like you are a lady. You are a nurse and you are wearing that one and wearing the, the medical whatever. You are a doctor. You are wearing the coat and oh, your name here. Are you allowed to wear those uniforms? That's number one. But secondly, let's say you are Muslim. Are you allowed to wear hijab? Let's say uh, you are Jewish, you are Jew. Are you allowed uh, to wear I don't know, Hanukkah, whatever, the, that thing they're wearing here? Sorry, I'm not trying to follow. Are you allowed to wear that one? You are a man, you are a sheikh. Are you allowed to wear those uh, small hat, whatever? Are you allowed? So, two things. Let me start with the uniform. Number one. You are not allowed to wear any uniform unless otherwise there is one exception. That uniform is a religious uniform and you are wearing that uniform on daily basis, you don't take it out. Listen very careful. You are not allowed to wear a uniform Unless otherwise, exception is a religious clothing which you wear every single day of your life. Not you can wear today and or, or every Sunday or every Friday. No, the uniform which you wear every single day. Example, you are a Catholic nun or a Catholic sister. Do you wear that uniform every single day? If yes, you are, you are supposed to, to wear the uniform in the photo. If you, there are certain days you don't wear, don't wear that uniform to take the photo. Let's say you are a priest. Priests don't wear uniform every single day unless otherwise there are certain religious orders. For instance, Franciscan, they have to wear their, those, their gown every single day. If those are exceptions, I'm giving example. Yes, but if you are a normal uh, diocesan priest, that means you can wear civilian uniform on other days you are supposed to wear the civilian. Don't wear the collar, the white collar, or you are, you, 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 you are a pastor. Don't wear those one if in a, some of the days you don't wear them. Unless otherwise, you every single day, morning to evening, every single day you wear that uniform, yes. That's the only, only aspect of uniform. 
And again, because you wear the uniform, maybe you were a priest or you were a nun, or you were, it doesn't mean that they, you are going to win because of how you look. That's number one. Let's go to the aspect of wearing something in the head. Let's say, especially for Muslims, I'm talking about especially for ladies, uh, women are, uh, some of the women wear hijab. People from Tanzania, I know, uh, especially Zanzibar, Saudi Arabia. So, is, unless, first of all, do not wear a hat or a head covering uh, your hair or hairline. You are not allowed. You are not allowed. The only exception, unless that hat, that piece of clothing you are going to put on your head is worn daily and for a religious purpose only. Not a person you are wearing hijab just on Eid al Fitr, Eid al Hajj, and on Ramadan. No. They mean if you are wearing hijab every single day of your life for the religious reason, yes. The question you can ask me how do they know that? Let's say you apply, you are putting, you are wearing hijab. But, when, obviously when you win, when you are filling the form DS260, you have to put it in the social media account. On your social media, you are having a bottle of beer, you are just not having hijab, you are in the club. That is not a religious reason. They can disqualify you because of that. So the only way you can wear a hat, or you can wear hijab is only if you are wearing that clothing or hat for religious reason every day on daily basis out of that don't wear that one and again there is no a penalty if you, there are some people they know uh if let's say uh uh they think that because maybe you are a muslim uh, you, you have a beard or you, you, I mean, you are wearing hijab, they are not going to choose you. No. It doesn't count against you at all. There is nothing about that. And there are a few other things related like, can you have a beard? Yes, you can. They don't care about that. Can you have afro? Yes, you can. Can you have dreads? Yes, you can. Okay. Uh, can you uh, have makeup for ladies? Yes, you are allowed to have makeup. But don't be, make it too much as if you are going for the wedding reception. No. It's just a reveal. Is your computer is going to choose? So don't go to put yourself, like if you take the makeup, it's a completely different person. You can put just a little of makeup if you want. Yeah, so those are the few things uh, you, you, are, you, you, you are allowed to, to do. So don't complicate. Uh, so take this, like normally the clothing you are wearing on a daily basis. No headphones. No wireless devices in your here, whatever those just like normal and no wearing glasses. This is like the third time or third, third year or fourth year, the new regulations of not people wearing glasses. So those are the few things I want to share with you, which you needed to understand. So the only thing like uh, you are wearing, like uh, like for instance, like I'm giving example, like someone has hearing aid. As long as for the medical purpose and you are wearing the, the hearing aid every single day, that's okay. But don't wear the, these like ear, ear pods, ear pads, whatever those, the iPhone, like the wireless headphone, because you have them you want to show off. They don't care about those. It's just like the guy, what is his name? The comedian in Nigeria, the friend of what? Like Sydney, uh, there is Sydney, Nasty, and the, uh, I don't know, I forgot his name. Every single sk skit on his <laughs> in his comedy, he he must wear his uh, the wireless uh, headphone because he has iPhone. I don't know, but now is his identity. But if that the guy is going to apply for the DV lottery, please take those ear pads, whatever wireless iPhone, whatever headphone, just for the DV lottery. <laughs> Then you can apply. Then after that, just going to put it back. So those are the few things I want to make sure that you understand. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel in case you haven't, you haven't done so. But I really appreciate your continued support. You have been with EBM Scholars, EBM Scholars family for a long, long time. So thank you so much for that support. 
Let's be in touch. Let's keep rolling. Let's make sure we apply correctly. Let's make sure that we win. This is our time in case you haven't done so, in case you have you didn't win for the DV lottery.